Hi, I am so glad you are joining me for Level 1 Math. My name is Mrs. Hauser and I am going to be your teacher for the year. Are you ready to get started with our first lesson? First, I'm going to pour myself something to drink and I'll meet you at my desk. For this first unit, we are going to be spending some time reviewing what we've already learned to wake up our math brains. Most of us are just coming back from a very long break, so we want to make sure we're ready for level one. Do you have your supplies ready for this first lesson? Good! Let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some counters and I want you to find the number card that you have that is the same number of counters. So let's start with this. How many counters do you see? Can you hold up the number card that matches the same number of counters? Let's see if I can find the same number. Is this what you have? You're right, two and two counters. Let's do it again. Are you ready? Let's see what number this is. How many counters do I have now? Can you hold up the number card that has the same number of my counters? Did you hold up five? You're right. One, two, three, four, five. Five counters and my number five. This time, I'm going to hold up a number and I want you to count out the same number of counters at home. Let me move my counters. Okay. Let me put my card down. Here's my number. Can you tell your teacher what number it is? Did you say seven? You're right. Count out seven counters at home. While you're counting, I'm gonna count too. Do you have your seven counters ready? Look at how I put my seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you arrange your seven counters in a different way? You move your counters in a new design and I'll move my counters in a new design. Let's try this. Do I still have the same number? Yes, they're just in a different design. Let's do it one more time. Let's still use our seven, but can you make them a third way? Here's mine. There's my seven counters. How does yours look? <laughs> Good, let's do that again. Let's slide our counters to the side and we'll do this one more time. Okay, let's find a new number. Here we go. What number is this? 10 is right. Can you count out 10 counters at home? While you're counting, I'll count mine too. I have my 10 counters, do you have yours? How does yours look? Is yours in the same design as mine? Let's make them a new way. You move your counters in a new design and I'll move mine. Ready? Here we go. My counters are done. I made them in a circle. What does yours look like? Let's do it one more time. Can you come up with a new way to show your 10 counters? 
Here we go. You do yours while I'll do mine. Let's think. There. How do your 10 counters look? Are they like mine or is it different? Good. We were just practicing seeing our numbers in different ways. Let's do that some more, but we'll use our dot cards. Let me clean up my counters. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a dot card and I want you to find a number card that matches. So let's practice. Here is my first dot card. Can you count quickly what number that is? Yes. Did you say five? Now let's find the number five and put it next to it. You find your five while I find mine. There. That wasn't so hard. Five dots and the number five. Let's do that again. Let me clear up my cards. Here we go. Oh. See if you can see this number quickly. What number is that? Did you say nine? You're right. Tell your teacher how you saw nine. Some of you might have counted each dot. Some of you might have seen a grouping of dots. You know how I saw mine? Three and three and three make nine. Let's find the number nine. There we go. Nine dots and the number nine. Let's do it one more time. Here we go. Let's see if I can trick you on this one. You ready? No, let me pick. You ready? What is that number? Can you see the answer quickly? How many of you said it was eight? You're right. How did you see eight? Can you tell your teacher how you saw the number eight? You know how I saw it? Three and three make six, seven, eight. Let's find the number eight. Can you beat me? Have you already found your eight before I did? There it is. Eight dots and the number eight. That wasn't so bad, was it? But now we're gonna take it to the next level. Are you ready? Let me clear my numbers. And I want to show you these cards. Have you seen these before yet? Do you know what that card is? One. What about this one? Two. What is that? Three. Four. Five. Do these look familiar? Let's keep going. What is this number? Six, seven, eight, nine, and what is this one? Ten. Some of you might already know how to read these, and that's great. Some of you may not know how to read them yet, and that's okay too. Your teacher can read them for you. But by the end of the year, we want to make sure you are really good at reading these. So we're going to play some games to practice. So teachers, what I want you to do right now is set out your cards just like mine. Okay, are you ready? Let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say a number and I want you to grab that same number of counters and put it next to the number word. Let's practice together. Let's start with three. Can you count out three counters? 
You do yours and I'll count three. One, two, three. Now, where is the word three? One, two, three. I'm gonna put them right next to it. That wasn't so bad, was it? Let's do it again. Let's say eight. Can you count out eight counters? If you don't have eight counters extra, you can move our three counters and add to your pile. Or you can always get more counters. You decide. Let's count eight counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't have eight, so I'm gonna take these off to make eight. Now, where's my number eight? Some of you may know just by looking. Let's start from the beginning and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here is the number eight. Let's do this one more time. Let's try the number five. You ready? Do you know where five is just by looking at it? Let's count out five counters. One, two, three, four, five. Five is right down here. I hear the V and the F, so I know to look for the F and the V. Did you find that quickly? Here's our five. That wasn't so bad, was it? Let's take it to the next step and this will be our last activity before it's time to go. Are you ready? I'm going to move my counters and I'm going to take my number cards. My number cards are all mixed up. You can mix yours up at home or keep them in order. And what I want you to do is match the number to the word. Ready? I'll do it in my order and you could do it in your order and we'll see if they match at the end. My first card is seven. So I'm gonna match it next to my seven. My next card is five. I'm gonna put it next to my five. There's my three. Do you know where your three is? I have two is next. Nine, there's my nine. Oh, there's our eight. We did eight. 10, 10 is a word I bet you can read already all by yourself. One. There's my four. Take a moment and look at your four. Doesn't it look funny? That's a word we definitely just have to know by practicing it over and over again. And what's my last number? Six. My last number was six. What was your last number? Good. This is a great way to practice waking up our brains and seeing the numbers, the dot cards, and our number words. For a fun activity, you can mix these all up and maybe play Go Fish with your teacher. Most of all, have fun. See you next time.